Let's bring in the Lutho Group's Jim Paulson. Jim, how are you feeling this morning? Generally, you're pretty laid back. <laughs> well, um, I, I guess I was feeling worse when we're still headed to a bear market. Uh, Becky, I think that uh, I didn't think we'd get one, but I, I, uh, well, here we are. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing now is whether we have recession or not. And um, I, I just don't see that for a, a number of reasons. I think the biggest one is just the quality of balance sheets and the corporations, households, and the banking sector overall. Um, and so I, I think what we got is a mid-cycle slowdown, uh, a rate hiccup, which is we've had several times. And I, I do see more evidence right now, Becky, that inflation is peaking than I've seen in the entire inflation cycle. Um, core CPI, core PPI, core PC, all those uh, have rolled over now for the last two months in a row. It's the first time that's happened. Commodity prices, the only thing driving it is energy. If you look at uh, softs or agriculture or industrial prices, they're flat to down now. Um, wage inflation is clearly slowed. So I, I think as the summer unfolds, we're going to get more comfortable than inflation's peaked. The rate structure is already high enough outside of what the Fed has to do. And I think the market could could have a, a pretty good lift yet in the second half. I could be wrong, and I'm nervous about it, but that's where I'm at. I mean, that would be great news if inflation is peaking. I, I think people have questions about that, especially when it comes to some of the core items like food and energy. And it's great news if you see the inflation having hit in some of those <laughs> non-discretionary item or the, some of the discretionary items but it's the uh, it's the non-discretionary items that that have so many people concerned about things you, when will you be able to say okay this is it you just got to wait for the next inflation the next few prints to come <laughs> well i as i say i'm fairly encouraged i mean i, I know there's a lot of panic since friday that was mainly because the headline number one percent gain due to energy becky but outside of that you know the core cpi rolled over and and now the corpse PPI rolled over, core PCEs rolled over. The, uh, you know, we've got, as I say, wage inflation in the last four months is three and three quarters percent, uh, which means the headline 5.2 percent number is coming down. When I look back historically at headline being at 8.6 with wages at 5.2, generally when that happens, the CPI comes down. Uh, wage, CPI follows the, the wage uh, trend. So I really think there's a lot more data saying inflation has already peaked. And now we've got rate structures, the 10-year, the five-year, and the two-year yields are all above their average real yield now going back to 2010. So I'm not sure they have to go a lot higher. And yeah. if they if they don't, then I think the fundamentals yeah. stay, the, stay the course. We, we yeah. get a good bid back. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.